Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to NHL 17 Franchise Mode with your Detroit Red Wings. Yes, we missed the playoffs, just as the real Detroit Red Wings did in the 2016-17 season. We have the sixth overall pick in the NHL draft this year, so hopefully we can use that, build off some success with our team, and hopefully find some success next year. But this episode, we will be doing the entry draft of 2017 and the off-season to get our team ready for next year. The 2017 Stanley Cup champions were the Minnesota Wild, only in a video game. So let's get to the draft, shall we? So we have the sixth pick of the draft. It's meant to be a good year for rookies this year. So there we are, number six. So Pavel Datsuk has also called it a day, but he's not a member of our team anymore. So I'm not going to try and trade up for a pick. I'm just going to go with the sixth pick overall. So we've got uh, Comtois, Elite, Medium Elite, Top 6D, Medium Elite, Medium Elite. So Nolan Patrick did go first. Please give us a Medium Elite or a High Elite. I would be very happy. Please, please. <laughs> right. We've got to make sure we draft properly here. This could be the difference between picking up a solid player or not. Right, so let's take a look. So, first round top 10. Rasmussen, medium top 9 forward. Lilgren, top 10. Uh, he's a low top 6 defenseman. Uh, Suzuko, top 10. Right winger, defenseman, and centre. So, we've already got... Ooh, who do you want to go for? Though? That's the real question. So this guy's 18 years old. We only scouted him once, though. Uh, this guy, uh, Lil Gren, he's meant to be very good. He's 18 years old. We only scouted him once as well, for God's sake. We scouted the guy from the OHL six times, though. And he's meant to be a high bottom six forward. Well, I don't really want that. I'm going to go for... Let's go for projected again. Let's see Let's see how it goes. Uh, Rasmussen. He's a power forward. He's a center power forward. Medium top nine forward. Let's go for Rasmussen. We're picking you, sir. You are low elite. Okay, that's better than what it could have been. I'm going to take that. That's better than nothing. I want to check the rest of the first round, actually. We'll go back to the first round and see what other people got. If they got medium elite guys, we'll see if Lil Gren's gone and we'll see if the other guy's gone as well. So, um, elite, elite, elite. There's ours. Me Lil Gren's medium elite. Okay, and Susko is a high top nine forward. Okay, so we made a good choice with the low elite, I think, with Rasmussen. Anyway, let's go back to where we're drafting. Round two, pick number six. 36th pick of the draft. Come on, odd man rush. We need to make some good choices here. So, uh, lots of second round guys here. Um, top nine forward. Oh, top nine forward in Morant. He's meant to be a second round guy. As is Engren. He's a second round guy as well. Um, let's take a look. Uh, he's 19 years old. We only scouted him once. This guy is meant to be a second round pick. We scouted him six times. He's meant to be a high top nine forward. Right, Morand, welcome to the team, sir. You are a medium top six forward. Okay, that, that's as good as the one before us. So I'll take that in the second round. Not too bad. So we have three third round picks now. Let's see what we get then. We can probably pick up some solid depth here. So the 26th picks, we have 26, 27, and 29 Wow, so the New York Rangers must have had a decent uh, postseason. Didn't win the cup, though, so, you know. Let's take a look. So, if we have a look at what's still available. Oh, Kalinka is unknown. Ooh. So, uh, we've got several picks here. Third, fourth round. Uh, Elvanez will take him. He's a medium top nine forward. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty much as good as the other pick we made. So, we're making some solid draft picks here, actually. Who else we got available? Um, third, fourth line, exact top nine forward. I doubt that's it, though. Oh, we scouted him four times, though. He's 19 years old, and he's meant to be a uh, a top nine forward. Uh, that's the third or fourth round. Sure, we'll go for this guy. It was probably awful. Medium top nine forward again. Nice. Then we've got the 29th pick. A medium bottom six forward. So we're getting some awesome draft picks here, actually. Especially if we get loads of solid draft picks this year. The more we go on, we'll actually be able to use these draft picks, you know. So let's take a look again, and what do we got? Uh, fourth round picks. Oh, uh, we've got a fourth round pick, so that's not really a problem. So, uh, Coleman, how many times have we scouted him? Scouted him once in the WHL. Gorda, we haven't really picked up many defensemen, have we? Well, at least I don't think we have. So, scouted all three of these guys before. He's 18 years old, he's 20 years old, 
And he is 18 years old. So I'm going to go for the defence. We're going to go for Gorda. He's a two-way defenceman. And he is a high AHL top two defenceman. Ugh. I mean, he might be able to make it, but I don't know. So we've got the fourth... Well, we've got the sixth pick in round four. Let's see how we do here then. God, the re-sign phase is going to be exciting this year, I can tell. So let's take a look. Uh, da -da 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 -da, what we got? Fourth round. Fourth, fifth round, Lind. Or we've got Belia. So Lind, he's a two-way forward. I'm pretty sure we draft this guy pretty much every time. 18 years old. Uh, he's a high top nine forward. Fuck it, we'll go for him. Pretty sure we draft him quite a lot. He is a low top six forward. Okay, I'll take it. That's better than nothing. He's going to make the NHL one day. We want to try and get those 18-year-olds as opposed to those 20-year-olds, I think. So, sixth pick of round five. There is a backup goalie we can draft as well. Uh, there is one that's undrafted that we can pick up should we want to. But I think we're doing fine here. I, I, I'm quite pleased with how well we're doing. So we've got two backups here. Fifth, sixth round. Yep, we'll take this guy. Velalainen. He is a medium fringe starter. Nice. Not too bad. Uh, oh, sadin has been traded to San Jose. Craig Anderson's on the trade block. And Mike Camilleri's gone to Tampa Bay. Oh, and we have the sixth and seventh picks of the sixth round of the draft. So that's not too bad. Let's take a look. See what's going on. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Another backup goalie, uh, but he's undrafted, so we can pick him in the next one. We'll go this guy. He's meant to be top six. Low bottom six forward. We've got another pick here. We'll take the other backup goalie, I think. Or maybe we can leave him till he's undrafted. I'm not sure. If we could get like a Henrik Lundqvist situation, that'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't happen very often. Well, he's undrafted, so we'll, le mm, we'll go for Larionov because he's meant to go in the sixth round. He's a center. He's a center playmaker. We'll pick up the other guy. He's a medium. Oh my god, medium AHL top six forward. Loving those glasses, mate. So yeah, in the seventh round, we do have a seventh round pick, right? I bloody hope so. Oh, we do. Oh, thank goodness. We'll pick up that backup goalie, and we should be fine. And that's going to be quite a large draft class for us. We we'll have to see how that low elite guy is doing. Will he be relatively high to begin with? I don't know. So uh, yeah, Hallinan. He's a high backup. Would he be a fringe start? Medium fringe starter. Picked up a medium fringe starter in the seventh round. Nice. Hopefully he'll be able to have a good time. So, wow. The last pick was a medium bottom six forward. Nice job. So, your 2017 D Detroit Red Wings draft class is Rasmussen, Morand, Elvanez, Mikanen, Gorda, Lind, Velvelainen, Ko Koblizek, Latlaninorov, and <laughs> Hallinan. Wow. How to butcher names with Odd Man Rush. Try and pronounce them, but then cock it up really badly. So let's go to the re-sign phase. We should have some extra salary cap. Um, we've got 10 skaters about to become restricted free agents. Got the calculator at the ready. Remember, you can go for 85% of their asking price usually. So how much salary cap? $9 million in salary cap space we have. I have a feeling we're going to have a couple of guys we're really going to need to sign here. Okay, so Dylan Larkin, he's okay for one more year. Andreas Athanasio, he's 83 overall. We should definitely sign him to a contract. Uh, how much would he want? Okay, yeah, we definitely want to sign him long term. If we could sign him for... Ooh, do we want to go five years? I'd rather go eight years, if I'm honest. And if it's a small amount. I mean, I know what you're thinking. Going eight years is a massive gamble, but we'd have him till he's 30, so we'd have him past his prime as well. And he's not asking for that much money. So if we went $2.5 million for eight years... If we could get Andreas Athanasio signed to that, that would be incredible. Street, nope. Uh, 67 at 21. Sure, we'll give you a contract then. Why not? Uh, Turgent. Rasmussen. Okay, so 63 at 18. Okay, I'm hoping that he'll have a decent time though. So he'll go. He'll be able to go back to the minors I, or the junior. He'll be able to go back to junior? No, he's 18. So we'll sign him because I want him to play... On our main lineup. Okay, so left wingers. Thomas Tatar. Okay, so he's run out of his contract. So we've already taken up about $2 million. He wants $5 million for four years. I don't think so. I'm not very happy with that. Uh, I can get you for $4.2 million. 4.42. So 4.450. That's pretty much eaten up half of our salary cap. Not very helpful. Uh, Callahan will qualify you as an RFA. Uh, right wingers, Joe Vitale, Ferk, no, these guys are fine, defensemen, 
Jared Cowan, we can uh, qualify him as an RFA. We can qualify all of these guys as RFAs. Uh, Xavier Wallet, uh, sure, we'll give you a two-year contract, actually, my friend. Uh, Sproul, you're doing fine. Lash off, we'll give you a contract, why not? And Russo, sure, we'll give you a contract as well. Uh, RFA, Almqvist, no, you aren't getting a contract. Goalies, uh, Pasquale and Van Pottelberg, no thank you. We've got Caro, we've got Vela, oh wow, he's already better than Caro. And he's five years younger and we just drafted him, so he is definitely getting a contract. Have your entry level deal, you can play in the AHL for us. Peter Mrazek has dropped because he played like shit last year. Uh, Hallinan, sure you can have a contract as well. And we'll see after that how much salary cap space we have left. Because it's next year that Dylan Larkin's contract runs out. We need to make sure we have some salary cap space for that. So we'll advance a day, see who re-signs with us. So, uh, Thomas Tatar, you are back. Wallet, you're back. Andreas Athanasio, that if he keeps growing the way that he's growing, that is going to be the steal of the century. $2.5 million dollars. For eight years for Andreas Athanasio. Brian Lashoff, Russo, Rasmussen, and Hallinan didn't join. That might be because we don't have enough uh, contract slots. So we have $4 million of, of salary cap space left, which isn't too bad. Uh, right. So center. Let's just double check this. So centers, we have Zetterberg, Nielsen. Oh, wow. Larkin's up at an 87 as well. And Athanasio and Riley Shane. So centers, no problem whatsoever. We don't need to worry about centers. Uh, Holstrom, wow, 70 at 20. He should hopefully grow a little bit more. Got a couple of uh, other guys here. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Vitalo, sure. Oh, uh, Rasmussen, he's the medium elite, isn't he? Yeah. So centers were absolutely fine. Uh, left wingers, we've got uh, 86, 85, 83. Oh, Shvet uh, Svechnikov. Hopefully he'll carry on growing. and He'll be ready for this year as well. So our left wingers will be fine. If we could have to tar it like an 87, 85, 83, maybe an 82 for Sveshnikov, uh, that's fine for left wingers then. Not a problem. Uh, right wingers, 87. Ah, we're missing out on right wingers at the moment. So we need to sign a right winger. Anthony Mantha has risen up to a 78. Wow, he had, he had so much growth that season. Defenseman, 88, 86, 85, 83. I mean, we've got the salary cap space, but I'd rather leave these guys qualified RFAs because I might be able to get some draft picks and shit for them. Um, and we've got a 79 who could go up to an 80. So, looking at this, we need a right winger. Two, three, four. And we've got a relatively decent defensive core. And we've got all of these guys that have signed with us. Right, okay. So, looking at this... We need to sign a star right winger or a solid right winger with about $5 million of salary cap space, which is not very much at all. We've qualified a few RFAs. This team is actually looking a lot stronger now. I mean, we haven't really changed that much either, which is pretty awesome. So a couple of guys who are up to no good started making trouble in our neighborhood and they haven't been given contracts. <laughs> Fucking Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So uh, contracts. So yeah, we have about $5 million of salary cap space here at the moment. Dylan Larkin apparently is playing in the minors now. I'm not quite sure why. Um, right. Uh, let's just double check. Uh, Street, we don't want. Anderson, we don't want either. Uh, Vitalo, 65 at 22. No, you're awful. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, le so left wingers. Our best right winger is Gustav Nyquist. And our next best is Luke Glendening. Hopefully Mantha will be up at an 80 next year. That would be tremendous. But we'll have to see. Um, right. Crumble's up to two, three, four, yeah. Okay, so we're going to try, um, yeah, we're going to try and sign a solid right winger. Can we actually look at the upcoming free agents, or is that like, nah, we'll just, we'll just, uh, advance a day. Uh, Dylan McElrath accepted his offer, well, that's very helpful. Um, that's because I qualified him as an RFA, didn't I? Right, so how much salary cap space have we got? We have... $4.8 million. Kevin Shattenkirk is the biggest one. He wants seven years. Jesus. Nino Niederreiter. Only problem is he wants a bit too much money. And he is too high for me. Uh, Alexander Wenberg. He's 85. Ooh, uh, Tyler Johnson. Well, no. We're fine on, this, on the centres. The centres aren't the problem. Uh, what about goaltending? What, what have we got goaltending-wise? If there's a solid goalie out there, there might be Ben Bishop. 
He's only 85, though? What the hell happened to Ben Bishop? Wow. My goodness. Did he only play three games? He only played 22 games last year. Well, I don't really want to take a gamble on that. Bloody hell. I thought Ben Bishop was going to be like an 88. I would have taken him if he were that high. So, just taking a look at this again. We've got a bit of a buyout penalty here. So, Kevin Shattenkirk is by far the highest earning guy. Carl Olsen has got a couple of offers. Nino Niederreiter is also a restricted free agent. So, that makes life really difficult. Melka Carlson. Um, J Jerome McGinley. We could go for him. He wants far too much money for an 83 overall, though. Evgeny Medvedev. Justin Schultz would be an awesome pickup. Because he, he's had a resurgent year. Could go for Justin Williams. He's 83 overall, but... We need that, like, second-line right winger, don't we? I don't really want to go for somebody like Nino Niederreiter. Because then I'd have to give up so much. Alexander Wenberg. Don't, could go for a Ginla or Parento. But then again, I'd be offering them far too much money for how good they actually are. So, James Wisniewski. We could try and pick up another defenseman. He's 85, 33 years old. He's a top-four defenseman. That might bolster our defensive group up. We might be missing that, that extra right winger. But if we could bolster up that defensive core. Because who do we have? We have Cronwall, Mike Green. We have uh, we have De Kaiser, Ericsson. Yeah, we need another right-handed shot, I think. Right, James Wisniewski, I'm going to offer you a contract, sir. Three years for $4.475 million. If he doesn't sign with us, then we'll try somebody else. But I want to bolster up this defensive core, considering our goaltending isn't very strong. We've got some great up-and-coming forwards. So I don't think we need to worry too much about those. So, James Wisniewski. There you go. So, James Wisniewski has, has joined the Detroit Red Wings. Awesome. So, we, sh we don't really have much salary cap space left, do we? No, not at all. Uh, is there anybody else that is uh, that is available? Rodin. Uh, Bork. Mm, that's pretty decent. Uh, 80 at 26 years old. Yeah, well, We've got enough contract. Oh, no, I don't have enough contract. Okay, so I think we've made the only pickup we're going to make. James Wisniewski, he was available since the start of the year, but we didn't have the salary cap then. So, if we just take a look at our team now, I just want to see what's going on here. We're pretty much right up to the salary cap, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but what can you do? So, centres. Centres were pretty much set. We've got Zetterberg, Nielsen, Athanasio, Shane, and... Dylan Larkin, so N won't be there. Left wingers, Tatar, Abdul Kader, Darren Helm, and we also have Sveshnikov. Right wingers, we have Nyquist, Glenn Denning. We have Mantha, who will hopefully grow to an 80 by the end of the year. Defensemen, we have Cronwall, Green, De Kaiser, Wisniewski. Ericsson, do you shoot left? Yes, you do shoot left. And then we'll have Wallet, who will play on the bottom pair, maybe. That's perfect. That's actually really good. Very happy with that. Uh, and then goaltending, we have Howard and Mrazic with uh, Vela Linen playing as the starter in in Grand Rapids. Nice. Okay, right. I'm I'm actually a lot happier about this because we've got a couple of excess centres or wingers which will be able to slot on the right wing, hopefully. And they'll provide that one-timer opportunity. So I, I think we've made all the signings we need to make this off-season. There's, there's nothing... I don't want to do anything crazy here because we've pretty much done everything we wanted to do. So if we go to September the 30th, Hopefully that will sort of figure out what we're trying to do here. But yeah, I mean, the Grand Rapids had an awful season last year. But we signed a couple of guys there. Got a couple of draft picks. A low elite Rasmussen who will hopefully join the team. I'm glad that we got somebody that actually has elite. Because Dylan Larkin, Athanasio, Rasmussen and... Uh, what's his name? The winger. I uh, can't remember his name now. Uh, Mantha, that's it. They all have like either medium or low elite status. So the fact that they're, we've got like four guys there, we're going to start creating a dynasty again. And I'm glad that I've had somewhat of an impact on that by drafting Rasmussen, you know. And I played Thingy last year. I played Mantha last year. So he grew from like a 72 or whatever to a 78, just like that, which is amazing. So I'm hoping that this team will be, be, will be pretty set going into next year. Uh, Jared Cowan, I did... Um, I did qualify him as an RFA. Uh, if he doesn't want to re-sign with me, then I guess he won't re-sign with me. I qualified him as an RFA, so it's, it's up to him now, isn't it? Or it might be a case of I don't have enough contract or whatever. I don't know. 
Let's see. So we're into September now. We'll have a look at how our team is playing. So this hasn't been a hugely long episode, I don't think. But I like to think we've got the job done. So it's not a problem. Right, so we're into September. Hello, September. So we should have the uh, playoffs coming. Not playoffs. Playoffs. Wow, that's a bit early in September. Have preseason. There we go. So owner goals. We are a hopeful. 33 sellouts this year. Want us to win our regular season home opener and win 85% of available tickets this season. Okay. So let's go to the 8th of October. We'll see where our team's at and we'll get ready for our first game of the 2017-18 season against the Ottawa Senators. We'll have to see how we do. So scouting assignment. Let's go straight for forwards in the queue for six weeks. Boom. Sorted. Job done. So uh, Athanasio's injured already. Great. Nice start. I'm glad that preseason injuries don't last ages though. Okay, perfect. Uh, arena operations, we'll stick that up to 3.5 million. I always do that. Promotions, I'll put the rest in there. Save budget. So an overtime win in the first game of the preseason. Nice, and I've auto-assigned the budgets. Also, Christopher Ehn, or Christopher Ehn has got his... Uh, he's playing some of the time with the Detroit Red Wings this preseason. You won't be staying there, mate. But um, not, nice job, I guess. Wow, we've played very well this preseason. And the last game against the Ottawa Senators and teams must be salary cap compliant. Hey, so we went 5-1-1 one, and one in the preseason. Hopefully that will be a sign of how well this season's going to go for us. So if we go to roster moves is what we need to look at. See what we need to see what we need to take a look at really. So, uh, okay, four centers. So we've got Zetterberg, Nielsen, Larkin, Athanasios up at an 84. That is why I signed him to that bloody amazing contract. That's perfect. Right, so N, you can go down, sir. Thank you for your help. Left wingers, Tatar, Abdelkader, Sveshnikov. He's up to an 83. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I love it. Right, awesome. And Helm, nice. Uh, is there anybody in the system? Tangrady, nope, don't need to worry about any of them. Oh, uh, Tyler Batuzzi's up at a 77 as well. So hopefully he'll be ready to go in a few years. Right wingers, Nyquist, Glenn Denning. Uh, Anthony Mantha, he's up at an 80. Come and join the team, sir. Um, defenseman, Cronwall, Green, DeKaiser. Wisniewski's up at an 84. Oh no, he's dropped to an 84. Bollocks. Uh, Eriksson, Wallet, Borowiecki. Wallet's up at an 82. Wow, we've had such growth this year. McElrath. Okay, so if we send Borowiecki down, we'll bring uh, McElrath up. Good. So we're, so we're still in the salary cap here. And then Mrazic. Mrazic's up at an 85. Howder's dropped to an 84. Verilainen's at a 75. Nice. You can do this, boy. You're going to be my starting goaltender. Get it done, boy. Right. So we're going to go best lines. Take a look and see what's going on here. So edit lines. Let's see. So first line. First line's the same as last year. Second line is the same as last year. Now third line. Darren Helm is a checking forward. Got a checking forward. And we've got a scoring forward. Okay. So you're a checking forward, and you're a scoring forward, and you're a fourth line forward. So if, if Athanasio is a checking line forward guy, you're a checking line forward guy. Let's bring up Luke Glendenick. Right, okay. Perfect. So then we've got like a, a mini scoring line forward down here. So we've got the same line as last year, which worked out quite nicely. His face-offs are 75. Your face-offs are also 75. So, Thomas Tatar, Zetterberg, Nyquist on the first line. Not the most amazing, but it will do the job. Second line, we've got Abdelkader, Larkin, Nielsen, which are perfect. Then we've got a scoring line, no, a checking line, sorry, in Helm, Athanasio, and Glendening. Then we have sort of a, a mini third line scoring line in Sveshnikov, Shayan, and Mantha. Defensively, we have Cronwall with Mike Green. We have DeKaiser with Wisniewski and Eriksson with Wallet. Awesome. That's actually really good. And then goaltending, we have Mrazic and Howard. Nice. Now I want to take a look at the AHL just to make sure we're getting what's going on here. So, uh, the 18-year-old. He's in the 60s overall, isn't he? I don't see why he couldn't play. Scratched. Uh, oh, right. It's all defensemen. Okay. Right, okay. Well, you know what you're doing then. Defensively, Borowiecki, Sprawl, Alashoff, Russo, Hicketts, etc., and then Verilainen playing there. Oh, right. He's actually gone up to a, a, to a 75. Nice. Okay. Uh, that is actually a really balanced first... Oh, that, that's a balanced forward group. I mean, of course, the first line isn't a superstar line. 
But I could see a lot of balanced scoring coming from this team. I mean, the amount of 83s we've got. Like, in, in the bottom six, we've got 180, but the rest of them are at least 82 or 83. All in the bottom six. That's really good. Then we've got two 87s on the second line. We've got an 89 on the first. That's actually really good. I'm happy with this lineup. That's actually turned out a lot better than I expected. So, I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy with that. So, I'm going to end this episode here. We will start next episode with our first games of year two with our Detroit Red Wings team. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.